What's going on guys? I'm Greg from East Coast Eyes and we make lacrosse mesh and lacrosse handles. I'm the co-founder and president. So for this, we got four really good stringers together to do you guys some really high level techniques that you can take into your season two string league entries and really elevate your level of stringing. I'm gonna be talking about shooting strings, the different regulations and rules that go with them and the different styles and placements that you can use for them. So to get your pocket to this point, you're gonna watch the few previous videos. Connor showed you guys how to do the top string. Joe showed you how to do the top of the side walls and Justin showed you how to do the bottom of the side walls and the bottom string. So for my shooting strings, I'm gonna do an NCAA legal setup with two stack nylons and a straight shooting string. Uh, now, you need to have all your shooting strings within four inches of the top of the scoop to be legal for all levels of play, starting with the spring 2016 season. So that's an adjustment that everyone's gonna have to make. So for this setup, I'm gonna use the two stack nylons that's really gonna let the ball hit really hard give it a lot of snap and feel while keeping that set up and set up a legal. So I'm gonna start by weaving the top shooting string through the top nine diamond row, starting with the sidewall, making sure to lock it down to the sidewall, and then just weaving them with one another evenly across, keeping the tension pretty loose, not too tight where the ball is gonna catch. And then finishing them off on the opposite sidewall with a knot. And then at the end, you wanna check the tension Tighten it up just a little bit so that when you press the mesh out, uh, you're not gonna be able to hit that nylon too hard. You want the, the nylon to be just a little bit looser than the mesh is. And then you're gonna tie it off at the end with a simple square knot. So next we're gonna do a second nylon uh, straight into the same row of diamonds that the first one was and stacking these nylons is just gonna give us that extra snap and make sure the ball releases where we want it. So same exact procedure for the first. We're gonna start with the sidewall and then go straight across in the same row of diamonds. So at the end, you wanna check the tension again and make sure that it is just about the same tightness as the first nylon. It definitely shouldn't be tighter. If anything, it should be just a little bit looser uh, so the ball's gonna hit and easily, gradually glide out. Then finish with the same square knot. So then we're gonna add a third shooting string that's gonna be spaced one diamond down into the next nine diamond row. Uh, this one we're gonna wrap around the sidewall just for extra security to make sure it's anchored. I'm gonna do the same exact thing, simple weave shooting string that goes straight across one row down from our nylons. You wanna make sure you keep the shooting string completely flat. Each side should face the same direction the entire time. That's gonna make sure it lays nice and even and weave like it is, perfectly flat so you don't get any inconsistencies. And then just like the nylons, you're gonna check the tension at the end. This shooting string should be even looser than the nylons. If you press the mesh out with your hand, uh, the shooting string should be just a little bit looser than the mesh is capable of getting to so the ball doesn't snag. Then at the end, tie off with the same square knot again. So for shooting strings in NCAA, for the uh, last couple of years, they've had the rule where your shooting strings cannot be below four inches from the top of the scoop. So this rule has now been adopted by NFHS. That means for every level of play that you guys have been playing at is gonna go by the four inch shooting string rule. So you just wanna take a ruler uh, measure from the top and your shooting strings cannot dip below four inches below the top of the scoop. So as a general rule, that means if you do a nine diamond top string like this one is, you usually cannot have your shooting strings below that third 10 diamond row. So that would be this row right under my shooting string. Uh, you usually put them on these two rows, but anything within that third row and above is usually gonna be legal. So you wanna make sure you adjust your shooting strings now and get them dialed in so you don't have to adjust once the season starts. So if you guys enjoyed these videos, I hope you learned a little something more about stringing, about advanced techniques, and can take those things into your game and apply them to your season two string league entries. We're starting to take entries on February 2nd. We're super excited, so make sure to stay tuned and get in on the competition. And uh, thanks for watching, guys.